I need a... One to go, and a chili fish to go. Well done, chili fish. Alright, we're back again. It's Hold the Onions. And this week, we've got Steve Amadeus Fishman, big time lawyer, big time political consultant, Adolf Mongo, big time pop legend, city councilwoman, Martha Reeves. And this empty space is for Sam the Rat Riddle, who was supposed to show up and did not. Ooh. Now, wow. a lot of news this week, a lot of news, not the least of which is the passing of Michael Jackson. And to honor him, Martha Reeves, accompanied by Steve Fishman, they're going to do a tribute. Can I say that? Come on, whatever you want. Oh, play it for me, Sam. Sing with me, all right. All right. for Sheriff Warren Warren Evans. Let's look at this. Murders through the roof. They weren't counting right. They blew a big hole in the overtime budget. Was it right to do and is the city out of control? Go ahead, Aon. The right thing to do, wrong way to do it. I, I, if the chief version is, is correct, uh, Bean never talked to him. And I think that he owed uh, a professional cop the courtesy of meeting him one-on-one -on -one and say, you got to go. Well, my problem with the former chief was that he was an invisible guy. Loved by the uh, rank and file, that's why they playing with the numbers. You know, this city is dysfunctional. We got a lot of dysfunctional people running around here. Criminals is, uh, have really uh, staked out the city and running, running parts of the city because we don't have patrol cars in, uh, in those areas. So we, we need something different. Warren Evans been a professional cop, good guy, maybe he can do something, but it's going to take more than a new police chief. So right thing to do, wrong way to do it. Right. As a city council representative, I do not know that when you campaign, you make promises to people. Didn't he assist our current mayor with his campaigning? Didn't he help him get elected? He did. That's a promise being kept. Whether it was done right or wrong, as a new mayor. So Bing lied to him. Huh? Bing lied to him. I don't know about lies. He promised he helped him get away. You know, everything that we do and say in the city of Detroit has turned into either a lie or a falsehood or a misconception or a misunderstanding. But the truth of the matter is, he promised that man the position. And he only fulfilled his promise. But promises are made to be broken. That's you serve you serve at the pleasure of the mayor. And, and you know he did say he was gonna keep the guy. He said, I'm keeping them, I'm not making any changes. We had have, what, four police chiefs? Three mayors? How, how, how can we keep changing uh, leadership 
uh, every six months, every every eight months, we we got to have some kind of stability. And I agree with the councilwoman. You put this guy on your team. He went to bat for you, and then uh, behind his back, you negotiate with somebody else and you right. bring him in. Steve, is the city out of control? Well, I, I don't think you could ever make a statement like that. But I think there are two dynamics at work with respect to the police chief. I think that. There's no doubt, and I've talked to enough police officers, and I've talked to quite a number of them since this has happened. What Adolph says is true. The rank and file police officers love Chief Barron. I never we met loved him. him too. Yeah, you now I have to he say was it all. Appointed by President Cockle. Did he do a good was job? Was the interim president who was president for how many months? One. Right. Well, let's go back though. Did he appointed by the mayor? Did the he mayor just, appointed did he the job. job. Well, homicide. Yes, yes he did. Yeah, but, That's wait, why wait, he got time the out, job. Time out. Okay. The, the police chiefs, as Adolph said, no police chief can change the homicide rate in the city of Detroit. You can change the way you report it, but no police chief's going to be standing out in front of Cody High School and know that there's going to be nine kids shot. You can't do that. Yeah, but you get. You're talking to somebody that's been doing this for a living for 35 years. It's been in the city six years. That's why you're on the show. You can't. The police chief, the council, Adolph Mongo, Steve Fishman, we can't get guns off the street. The only people that can, guns, can get guns off the street are the citizens themselves and the kids and the parents and the people who are in control of these kids. You cannot expect any police chief to pretend that a police chief was canned because of the shooting of no. Cody. That's crazy. No, that, well, that, that, no, because you have a new police chief every week. That, that's right. What, what is happening in the city? We got to get canned. Well, because really, Bean should have been honest and say he wanted his own person. But how can you keep changing police chiefs with police chiefs with police chiefs and you and you we got a th we got a third mayor we got four police chiefs we got uh, I don't know how many other folks uh, okay. Warren Evans is going to okay. bring in there. We've been changing city council members too, so it's going to be changes until we settle down into our politics, into our legislation, and get the right people in. And we're working on that as we speak. Now let me ask you, okay? Okay. We got election coming up. Uh huh. 167 people running for city council. Yeah, they if think it's an easy job. Come on, all of y'all. Come on. <coughs> Good answer. Now, here's what we got. Get the people that the people want. We got a guy that left his mortgage and left another abandoned house. We got a woman said a tornado hit her house and didn't pay her fair share of tax. We got another uh, woman that took bribes and admitted it. You said... Thank you. you. We you had a citizen come to okay, the table hey, today and say right. she was charged a thousand dollars for a black right. ticket that she didn't put the... It's blue cheese. It's, cheese. Cheese. it's not blue cheese. It's ranch. I don't no care. I okay. need something. This ain't got nothing on it. Thank you, baby. But you miss something. You miss something. Hold you miss something, Charlie. Hold on. You miss something. And you said that your job at City Council is your second job. No. No, I didn't. I said it's my second career. Ah, see? Well, we got That's that a straight. difference, isn't it? Yeah, because that goes yeah, around town. My first career, I signed. You got slaughtered. And made, huh? You got I get, I get, they follow me everywhere with the church. Is the, the investigative is report the follow me everywhere, but to the schools that I go in and try to encourage the kids to stay in school and to church where I tithe and I go regularly every Sunday. They, they criticized me for uh, going into a casino, which is perfectly legal. I meet some wonderful people in the casinos. I solve a lot of problems by the people that are actually in there. Okay, since we're here, give me one reason to vote for you. One reason? One. Because I do a good job for this city. I bring a lot of ideas to this city. I'm an international spokesperson for the city of Detroit. I'm an ambassador. And I have been since 1959. Got that? Okay. You miss up. You miss up. State of politics. Come State on. of politics. We got. We. Th th if this was a. Uh, if the city was a HBO series. We got. We got the right scenario. We got. <laughs> we got a guy that's running the city that just moved here. His chief deputy, uh, his chief of staff, served four years for bribery when he well, was the water director. Wait, that's it don't here. matter. Come but on, listen, that, it, it, well, well, anyway, and his opponent, yeah, and the know. mayor's opponent uh, in this standard. election, served time for income tax evasion. This scenario, we got people getting indicted every day. We got people that's running for city council, uh, served time for manslaughter. Woo! What is happening with this city? Steve, what is happening with this city? We're growing. You know, I, I, love this. I always like talking to Adolph because he always tells me things that I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know there was a, somebody running for city council that served time for manslaughter. And he, and he got a lot of endorsements. 
All I can tell you is the perspective that I get from, from, from being a lawyer in the city of. and being yeah. in the city all the time. I, I, I don't, I honestly don't share the perspective that the city is out of control. I, I really don't. I, I don't see it that way. I mean, where do you live at, Steve? Southfield. Okay, then. Sure, I, I live right, right now. I live right, right on the front line. I'm, 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 I'm going right there. I, I know. live right Southfield on the front line. I got a councilman getting ready to and it's Ooh, not yeah. Yeah. get charged, too. So I'm uh, yeah. just not like But this. what I'm Even saying is, what I'm the saying is, city is out of city control. Is out of control. Yeah. City is out of control. You can't even stop. You can't even stop at night and pump gas because you might get hijacked, shot. They, they don't care if you're a cop, regular citizen, your house old got woman. broken into and all your stuff stolen. Yeah, they saw that's out of it control. They saw, no, it's control. not. It's, the world is out of control. Well, that's true. Okay, there's crime in every major city. Yeah. Especially the, when you got all this But we don't have to accept it. Unemployment. We don't have to we accept it. we got to find some jobs for everybody. We don't have to accept it. it. I'll tell you a line that Coleman Young said many, many years ago, and he was absolutely right. And, I mean, it's easy, Adolph, look, I've known you a long time. It's easy to sit and say it's out of control or breaking in Martha's house. Of course. Well, how many times you had your car stolen? More than once. I'm more more than, than once. once. How many times you had your house broken into? Not, not once. Ah, well, man, <laughs> but, I'm but just the point you. I'm saying is, the point I'm trying to say well, is, I'm it's just easy. You. It it's is easy. out of control. But the okay. point that she's making, the point I'm trying to say is, what People Coleman said a long time ago, there's no more Dutch men. You're not really that safe in South What she says is true. What are the onions? Go ahead, make No, but what Martha says is true. But Coleman said many, many years ago, and we know this having grown up Go in Detroit, on. when there was Dodge Maine, when Coleman said there's no more Dodge Maine, that's our big problem. He's right. Yeah, Fleetwood no plant. He was, I'm sorry? Fleetwood plant. Yeah, All that's those what I'm plants saying. closed. So, so it's easy to sit and throw brick bats, but we, we have to be a little bit more creative, a little bit more positive. What are we going to do to replace that? What has the Can't. governor done? Well, well, what's the governor well, done? Well, no, in general. She, in you know what she well, done? Well, she well, played well, the federal well, state well, has well, been saying. My point. The worst governor in the history of me being alive. Here's something that got done. Mr. Engler. Here's something that got done. I don't know. They running close. The feds got in there and they took out some people taking chump ass change, one of which is your client is Monica Khan is going to prison. I I told you before, we're not talking about Monica Khan. Just Kahn. that, I no. can tell you that she's petrified, that I can tell you, but other than that. You can't tell me where she's going. I'm not going to talk about the case. No, it's over, right. anyway. No, it's not. It's over. Any case, Charlie. No case is over until the second round. I can tell you that. That's why Even Egan point. knows that. Yeah. Is is she going to do prison? We don't know. It's all up to Judge Cohen. I want to know something. You need to call her. I want to know. Just one thing. Tell me something. Yes. Oh, somebody else. It's called lobbying. Everywhere else, and it's called criminal here in the city of Detroit. Well, the difference is when you go to Mr. Fish parking lot and take an envelope for three grand, that's not lobbying. That's <laughs> well. Well, let's. Why don't we just leave all that stuff to when we have Why the sentencing and the case Bring goes on? Let's, let's. I'm sorry. When she said she did it, I'm sorry. We, we won't. We don't just, need you to answer it. No, let's just she leave. Said the, she did let's it. just leave the whole thing to when, when it gets before Judge Cole for sentencing. I think everybody will have more information, and we won't all be sitting here. Talking about okay, let, let me, okay, hold on a second. Let me, let me now bring you this. We'll take a short interlude. I'm Monica Conyers. I was 10 years old when I delivered newspapers on this street. It was hard work, but my family needed my help. That attitude helped me graduate from college and law school. I love you, Trey. Congressman Conyers and I are raising our sons here. I'm ready to work as your councilwoman. The games are over. Council must respect you. We don't need selfish people wasting our tax dollars. Detroit deserves better. I'll be there. <laughs> yes. All right, we're back. Uh, is Sam Riddle going to jail? What do you think? I'm, I'm not a federal agent. I don't I'm not know a judge. That I don't know. You yeah, have to ask Sam Riddle. The, I don't know Sam Riddle. The, the, the only thing, I, I don't know if he's going to jail or not, but I would say this. Far be it from me to tell anybody else what to do. Yeah. But if I got trapped in a burning house and found myself trapped in a burning house, I would probably try to find the hose rather than the box of matches. That's all I'm going to say about Mr. And the only thing I'm going to say about him, he's a lunatic. Whoa! Perjury. <laughs> Slander. <laughs> okay, now, Martha, you had dinner with the Senate Grove official, and are you upset or offended that they didn't bribe you? <laughs> I'm, I am a... We're relieved that after the first flip flop of a fellow council member, where I was asked to vote one way and went with them, and when we got to the table, I said yeah, and they said nay. I decided in my own mind to vote according to my own conscience. 
I'm not going to let anybody influence me or affect me other than my policy analysts who I discuss every issue with every day. I've got two wonderful people as policy analysts. And I don't make any decisions until I talk to them. I don't let anybody. How did you, how did you vote on it? Mayor, president, anybody influence me. How did you vote on it? After going down Southwest to the Southwestern High School, sitting in a meeting with Senegal and the people concerned, about the environment. I heard that they were going to make things right. They were going to change filters, add chemicals, and do everything right. And the people were satisfied with the meeting, and that's what determined my vote. And so I voted yes. You voted yes. And you took no money. Oh, wait a minute. I no. didn't take money. They no brought, money offered. They brought money to my fundraisers. Okay. No one would you Made know. in the name of no friends one, of No Martha one would Reeves. you know now. Would you have taken the money? And are you. Yeah. Are you will, the, only yeah. Way, the only way you can get into the uh, political ring is by donations. Yeah, but they're crooked. You, how, how, how do you know whether they're crooked or not? I didn't ask them. Because he admitted to But I didn't people. ask them for anything. They came to my office. They came to my fundraiser. Are you going to give the money back? Am I going to give it back? No. Good enough. Because okay. it was going through the friends of Martha Reeves. I bought tickets to different affairs, ads, and magazines, and I've donated it to a lot of churches. I even took hot dogs to a community meeting the other day. He's, a good, he's a good political consultant. Should she give the money back? Would that look No. Good? No. We shouldn't no. give the money Absolutely. back. Hey. Really? Grant home, Grant, listen, wait, all these judges, all, wait a minute, all these people that get appointed judges, uh, <laughs> donate, if you look at the donate, no, I'm, I'm the only going with what she's saying. Thank she's you. saying it wasn't a bribe, they, 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 they bought fundraising, they, they, they bought fundraising tickets. Hey. Look at the county exec, look Man, at the sheriff, let's, all let's, of them. Let's, let's people make it get simple. contracts, people they, don't they, make they took, they took Carl Marlinga to trial, the feds invited Marlinga, essentially for what you're asking Martha to do. He shouldn't have taken the money, it shouldn't have gone. I the and the jury, the, the jury reason. laughed them out of court. He can know. No, he I'm sat there and touched the case. Let me speak for myself. Let me speak for myself. Well, let me speak for myself. 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 Let me speak